Hey guys, it's your girl Carrie, and today I will be sharing the DIYs that I made for my Country Grammar Back to School Breakfast Tablescape. If you have not had a chance to see that video, the link will be in the description box below, and also you can click on the link at the end of this video. Enjoy! First, you're going to start off with either glass, depending on how big you want your uh, vase or arrangement to be. So this is just a regular glass. And these right here are the larger um, vases that you can get, cylinder vases that you can pick up from the Dollar Tree. Both of these are Dollar Tree items. You're going to need a pack of pencils. One pack would do if you do the smaller glass. If you use the larger glass vase, you're going to need two packs of pencils. And you can pick those up anywhere you want. Now that it's school time, you can find pencils for as low as 20 cents or 50 cents. I just picked up two packs of the 24 count pencils from the Dollar Tree. These can come from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need a hair tie. And again, already have these. I always buy the hair ties from the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of 15 and you're going to need some ribbon. You can pick your ribbon up from anywhere. Dollar Tree sells all sorts of ribbon. This ribbon was a dollar, but I did not pick it up from the Dollar Tree. I already had it in my stash. And finally, you're going to need some flowers. You can do either fresh or fake flowers. In my case, I chose fresh hydrangea. I like these vases because they are double duty and you don't have to use a glue gun or anything. So what you're going to do is just take your rubber band and put it around the vase. After you do that, you're just going to stick the pencils in and around the vase. And I'm going to put my erasers toward the bottom. You can either do it at the bottom or you can have the erasers at the top. But at any rate, you're just going to just continuously stick the pencils in all the way around. And as you stick the pencils in, you're going to end up with something like this. And you can uh, turn them slightly, like just move them, and they will, you know, have a diagonal effect if you like that effect. And then you can either choose to show the number two on each side or just turn all of them around where you don't see that it's a number two pencil. But I like the number two, so I'm going to make sure mine's face all the same way. Next, you're going to measure out the appropriate length of a ribbon to tie a bow, and you're going to tie a bow right around the um, rubber band so that you won't see the hair tie. The final step is to just fill your vase with water if you're using fresh flowers, and then just add your stems. I just cut the stems to the length of the um, glass base, depending on what size you have, and boom, there you have it. This is a simple, less than five minute project to do and make as many as you need for your tablescape. So this next DIY is so simple. We're just going to customize our napkin rings. And the reason I love buying napkin rings, they don't have to be galvanized, but any napkin ring that's just like this, a plain cylinder one, is because you can do so many things to switch up your tablescape um, just by changing what you put in the center of the napkin ring. So what we're going to need for this project are your napkin rings. And again, if you don't have napkin rings, you can just cut off the end of a paper towel roll to this size and cover it and wrap it. So don't let that be a limiting factor if you don't have napkin rings. You're going to need a Sharpie, some tape, and index cards. That's it. So basically what we're going to do for this particular uh, napkin ring, we're going to take it, we're going to take an index card, we're going to take an index card, measure the width, how wide it should be. So you want your index card to be in between the two grooves and you're just going to cut it to size. So here we are and I just cut three rows down on the third blue row and I wanted to make sure I used the side of the index card that had the pink strip so we can get that feel of the notebook paper. And the next step is just to write our name onto the index card and I'm going to write the name before. I just measured out how much I need to go around. I'm going to lay this down and then write out our name, wrap it back around and just tape the back side. And there you have it, your customized napkin rings. And what I love about this is that it's so versatile. You can do so many different things. You can do it like this by adding an index card. You can take some of the um, chalkboard labels and put the chalkboard labels around there, kind of like how this 
uh, little chalkboard labeler is there and then write and chalk a person's name you can also just add twine around the galvanized piece you know just put twine there and that can make it you know just farmhouse rustic you can also just take a piece of this fabric the gingham stick it in between there and have something special you can take the fabric stick it between there and then wrap a piece of twine around the top I mean the possibilities are endless so again make you some customized napkin rings if you don't have galvanized ones start off with cutting a piece of paper towel roll or tissue roll and making your own napkin rings our next DIY is super simple and it's called the table talk game and basically all you need are index cards or you can just use plain white printer paper or notebook paper if you like a sharpie or you can just use your computer to print off your questions and some tape and that's optional. Tape is optional. Uh, eraser is optional. And something to hold your cards in. That's all optional. That's just to kind of make it pretty. But basically what you're going to do is come up with some questions that you would like to ask during your meal time, during your breakfast, and everyone gets a chance to answer those questions. So like right here I have, if you could erase one mistake, you made in life what would it be and then that's why I have this eraser here because erasers also go with the back to school theme and I'm trying to incorporate that into my tablescape and then there's just a bunch more questions and what I'm going to do is just affix these questions to a index card you could as easily just handwrite in the questions if you want but I found it easier for me to type and print now here is the final game set up and it's just very simple. You just sit it on your tabletop. I threw in an eraser in there and here are the questions. Um, again, this opens up dialogue so that you and your children can talk. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, I'm going to keep calm and carry on. Bye guys.